Okay, today we're here in Dr. Slane's Pain Cave to put the rotor cranks on my giant bike. This is the rotor two in power crank set. So top of the range offering from rotor and I'm keen to get this up and running on the bike. We'll get these running in conjunction with the power tap pedals as well and a few smart trainers. Click some good data. Okay, so that was the QXL chain rings on Slane's bike. Rotor have supplied some standard Q rings for this chain set that I've got. But we're gonna go round rings first and we'll jump onto the Q rings in a week or two once we've got this installed on the bike and we're happy with the readings. So that's a QXL, so that's more ov ovular. Would that be the word, ovular? So yeah, more, less round. Less round from <laughs> Slane is the word for that. They're the QXL rings from Rota. Here's the normal Q ring, which we'll go to in a week or two, maybe more. See how that goes. But today we'll go for the round rings on the two in power, power meter, just so we know we've got a set baseline before we move on to things like that. And I'm not quite sure this is for me. Easter is over. Bit of an Easter egg, those ones. All right, let's get stuck into it. Okay, whole system weight without rings, 648 grams. Not bad, not bad. And they're uh, 1725s. Go. Looking good. That's an aero chain ring too. That is a no Q surround ring 5236 combo, so a 110 BCD, otherwise okay. known as a mid compact. Okay, not semi compact, mid? Mid, semi, whatever, yep. halfway. Looks good. So, weight of that with the rings, let's, mm. let's do a secondary weigh in now. Now we have to get funky with the bottom bracket. That's next level. Definitely with a 360 spin on that, that's pretty neat. Well, I've got lunch coming, so I'm not going too far away. We've got Uber Eats on the way. With your lunch? <laughs> Actually, I think our lunch is going to be pretty greasy as it is. That's it. Get into it. Mm. We've been told this ain't pretty. Let's have a look at what goes on here. So we're going to smack the... Uh... If it involves a hammer, I'm interested. 
Oh, there we go. Nope. One out. You knock it, I'll catch it. Oh wow, look at that thing. Hang on. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, and we have some uh, we have some documentation from Giant inside here. Is this the user manual? It says don't put it on the ergo. Where's Raoul when we need him? Okay, so bottom bracket bearings are 79 grams as a system. Nice, we're having Uber Eats delivered by Uber Bicycle. And what is this? Bracket press tool? You've got all the good tools, Slane. That's why we're here. Okay, so that's both cups on either side, is it? Yeah, both bearings are in. And we just... Got to go in easy. No, oh, it's not what I like to hear. That means creaking, but we'll see. Yeah. Not real flash tolerances. Might need some extractions and Loctite, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, I just grazed and didn't Loctite. Okay. Skills. Beautiful. So this now allows a 30 mil spindle on the giant TCR, as opposed to, what was the other one? It was a tw 24 mil spindle, was it? It was a 24, yeah. Yep. Nice and straight. Got Riley's in the end of the day, and his rotor bottom brackets are pretty sticky. Not as nice as the surrounding one. Yeah. Used to hanging around me. I don't want it on the other one. So the, to the centre of the crank. That is. So what are we measuring here? Q factor? You know, just the, if they're centered. Okay. So it's at like 66, 67. Yep. And then that side is... Close enough, 65. As good as it gets. So there we are, the crank set's on. What we'll have to uh, run it in. Run it in it's for sticky. I'm sure there's some indoor sessions oh, that have been running. There's a little light, there's a little light. Was there? Yeah. There's a little light flashing. A bit of the grease.
So how to charge this thing is the next uh, thing. Oh, look at that. So it's USB and that just sits there like that and will charge away. Two in power, 368. Here we go, what information, get ID data, calibrate, rename, delete, cancel. Okay, so we can rename the thing. Yeah, we can actually read it now on the screen. I think green means go, so we won't have to charge it for now. We'll cover that another day. Nice one. All right, pedals on, cranks on. And we'll leave it there for now. We'll do another video on the power accuracy and a few other things about the usage of this and pairing that with the meter when it's all charged and right to go. So that'll be in the next coming video in a few days or so. So thank you to Slane for installing this all for me. Couldn't have done it without his help. Let's see if you can break it. You break everything else. I know. Let's put this through its paces and see what we can do. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching.